Hi Explorers and welcome back to the channel. The Forsaken Explorer NZ here and I've brought you here to a really cool incline. It is a public place where anyone can come and have a look. They used to do a bit of mining up in this up this way, a bit of gold mining, a bit of coal mining, but I believe this one to be a coal mine. And everything's just left here on the hillside. The carts with their brakes on on the hill, original carts, tunnel, everything. It is really cool so if you did watch last week's video I'm the same place and I did say the video is getting long we'll make a part two because it was already a 33 minute video so we'll carry on from where we left off and show you some of the really cool stuff that we found down this abandoned road that ended to a walkway that brought us to this location so cheers explorers let's have a look Firstly, we have all the carts going down the hillside here for a wee while and we'll head down there, that's the incline down the hill, we're up on the top of the plateau once again, but firstly let's go up in here and you can see all the brick and everything up there from the old uh, tunnel or mine, yet to be determined till we get up there and have a bit of a look, but this is really cool. That is super cool at the moment it's full of water you can see the angle of the incline that we're on because water always sits level so you can see that that if it was corner to corner it would be a 45 degree so um, probably a lot less than that probably 20 25 degree angle up this hill so it's we're quite steep it doesn't show it on camera It'd be on par with the one that we looked up the back of Mount Tiaro if you saw that video. Um, <clears throat> see up here, danger falling rocks. Goodness, this is just really cool. It's surreal. It's also very slippery. Wow, so picturesque. Look at this tunnel. This is just amazing. Look at our photographer there. It's a great shot. Funny, I wish it was in camera mode. That would have been a good, perfect photo opportunity. Danger, falling rocks. Persons entering these tunnels, so do so at their own risk. All right, I've been told. Holy heck, this is amazing. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out my other torch for an ahead shot, and I need hands free, so you're going on my head. Right, so you're up on my head now, and I've got my decent light. I can hold on a bit hands free, I can sort of walk a lot easier. I can be rough with the torch, and I can't with the camera. So that's how little, there's a bit of a cable here from where the pulley system would have gone up the hill. You won't be able to go into here very far. It's good fresh air in here. Coal mines can have gases. This one's uh, open to the public. If it had gases, it wouldn't allow you to come in. I do have a gas detector. Looks like we've got the end of the line just up here. Wow, it's pretty cool. Yeah, there is a cave up there. Look at these old steel portals. Very rusty and oxidized. It's that gas that's dotted in the air that you might see on the camera. When that gets too thick, condensed, that's when it's not safe. That's gases. 
I might go a little further because we might have a side cabin up here. Lots of rotting beams and stuff in here. Possibly might be a side cabin. The train's not very good. I've got my grippy shoes on today. I remembered to change my shoes. I'm just basically going to go to there and see if there's a side cabin. It doesn't appear that there is. Nothing. I can definitely see that that ends there with a cave in and a rock fall. So cool. There's water in here. Intact though. From way back in the day. I don't know about this mine in particular, but they started late 1800s doing coal mining up in here. They did coal and gold. So we'll make our way down the incline and go and look at all the cool carts and all the cool details. It's very cool. But look at that. Wow, there's even rocks have fallen onto this. Look at this. It's really rusty. Even look, at look at the wood beams. Wow. No sudden movements and don't touch any of these old rotty stuff. Been there probably over a hundred years. Plenty of timber work on the ground to show evidence of it coming down. <clears throat> Wouldn't feel very nice if it landed on the head, one of those. Although, hence the warning sign saying enter at your own risk. It doesn't say you are or are not allowed to enter. The amount of urbex footprints in here are heaps. A lot of footprints, I mean some of them could be some of my footprints from coming in here, but I did see some before I turned around to come back. Even with my grippy shoes, this is terribly slippery. I would be sk skating all over the place in the shoes I had on before, in part one of this video. Just so steep, because you have to walk so slowly, because you just lose your grip so quickly. That is cool, that is picturesque right there. Very, very cool. Man, these shoes are awesome. This is so slippery and wet and it's just gripping it. Right. Look at the detail though here. This rock wall here. Archway, up and over there. There's even rock walls on the sides. That's all the rock wall there. Hmm, it's a block falling out of there. All right, let's go down this incline. See what we can find down here, eh? There's even a cool dam here. I did a bit of a B-roll scene of it. So you might see that. The ground's hard rock, so hopefully that doesn't vibrate the camera too much because sometimes you, I've got it on vibrate setting to help or anti-shock, but sometimes when you're walking heavy footed to get grip, the camera is awfully shaky. Alright, so this incline, if you can see that, shut down in 1963, opened in 1896. This has been here since 1896. So the abandonment or the disuse of it since 1963 it's going a long way next year that will be 60 years i believe 60 years next year since this has been used so these carts have been sitting here for 60 years right so we'll head down here it is very very slippery and wet that everything is slippery to so just try and find footholds but i think it's worthwhile having a look at some of these carts maybe i'll stick to the grass over here 
could have a bit of more grip on the grass better. But the grass, oh wow, okay, there's like wood part in the platform here. So, this again would have been like a counterweight system, pulley system. One up, one down. The weight of the down carts would uh, lift up the empty carts back up again. They would get emptied at the bottom by rail. Now onto a railway, you could say. And they would then get carried out to Westport as part of the Westport uh, Mining Company. Wow, look at that hole. Oh, that's a long way down. Wow, very long way down. Woohoo! We want one of this to rot out on you. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, so the carts just carry on going down the hill here. What have we got in here? Oh, it looks like it was a side um, line that would feed on to this line from somewhere else. Perhaps if there's no joints, maybe not. I don't. Unsure at this stage. How far down does this incline go down the hill? It's so intact. I can't believe the carts are still here. This one, in fact, is still filled to the brim of coal. Um, well, they've made it, given it the illusion, they've put plywood here, put a, some coal on the top of it to make it look like it's full to the top. Oh, wow, okay. So wait, there's a tunnel up here. It just gets cooler. It's just more and more to see here. The terrain is very hard to walk, so I'm glad I can be mostly hands-free. Wow, let's look in here. If I can find somewhere a safe passage. This this cave's a little more dangerous looking. Oh wow. This is really cool. Can I squeeze in here? I might have to duck right down. <gasps> Wow, this is really, really decaying. God, so caved in in here. Wow. Wow, this place is not <laughs> as stable these days. Same side, danger, falling rocks. Persons enter at your own risk. Wow, there's like axles and car rusty carts and all sorts all the way down there. But I can see it's got a clearing at the other end. But is that a sign, another side entrance potentially here? I'm in, always intrigued with sign, I can see where this comes out, but if there's a side entrance, I'm always keen to, probably just like the other tricky side entrance that tricked me. Oh, that is super slippy. Even with me good shoes. No grip on wet limestone, or not limestone, but lime scale rock. Have a bit of a look, see here. I just want to look at the side tunnel. That's oh, caved in. Ah, definitely was a side tunnel. Probably just a standard where the carts go past. Wow, look at the structure of that roof. Definitely to go somewhere, but I ain't going to be able to fit in there all. Yeah, we won't mention what they are. <laughs> Wetters. Not Morticia's favourite, she's terrifying them. Right, so there's a public place and we've got some members of the public approaching us. That is cool. What we will do mm -hmm. is we will carry on in this direction. Down here. Uh huh. Uh. Now I believe this goes directly to the bottom of that collapsed mine. 
You alright? Okay. Alright, this takes us back to that abandoned road there. I came to about here at one point. Holy crap, no, I never closed the road. Right, so look at this massive slip here. Huge slip where the road's given way here. Look at that. Wow. And uh, I'm keeping back from that. Look at the view though. That's the road we come up. Wow. That is really cool. I don't know when it would have slipped here. It looks fairly fresh with the dirt, doesn't have too much grass growing on it. Right, so we should be about on par to where that incline passes over this. Just around the corner. So we're still walking along this road here, about another kilometre. And it's got to the zigzag part that I saw on Google where it just zigzags up the hillside. Now I'm unsure at this stage we should be approaching that mine that was collapsed looking that we just looked in. It will either be under us and coming out down the hill there or should be just here on the right. It looks like it climbs up a bit here so I'd imagine I can only assume it comes out here somewhere but I'm unsure but look at the state of the road now from tar sealed to this so this road would have been abandoned since 1963 bits of tar seal here but mostly completely gone now as a road you wouldn't even know that this was the main road in and out of this mostly abandoned town so I will get back to you on the video as soon as we find something other than just walking this abandoned road it's quite surreal here because we've got intact parts of the road that look in good condition and sections and then sections that are overgrown with gorse so we've done a full circle now this is the dam walk where we walked in to find the incline from the, along that banded road Hopefully my device I've got you on now is not too shaky. It's got a little, little bit of a crack in it. Should be okay. Well, so here's the dam here <clears throat> that was used for this mining on the incline. The incline is just up over there where we were and we've done a full circle but we didn't explore down here and I don't know <clears throat> if there's anything to see down here other than the viewing of the dam but it might be pretty damn cool so it might be worth having a look be damned if we do or damned if we don't yeah I think that's enough dam, dam puns Ah yeah, I see where we come out. This, we walked straight past this when we were on the incline. So this just takes us a shortcut to the incline where as we were walking down. So yeah, I see where we are. But we might be able to have a bit of a view of the dam over here. Potentially. Not really, I can see it quite well, but the GoPro can't seem, seem to see through all the trees. See if we can find a better way to access a view.
Doesn't branch in my way. Trying to balance and then get past the a branch in the way. Hmm. Good branch. Ah, no, I still can't see the dam. All right, next best thing, let's walk across the dam. Wow. This is a bit deep. Hopefully not too slippy. Oh, back to the path again. Huh, fun times. Pretty deep too. Right explorers, this will be our last location for the day. This is just up the road from where we were a moment ago, looking at those really cool incline, the militant incline. We're now going to the probably the biggest abandoned town that has nothing there whatsoever other than a cemetery. You have to hike into the bush around where the old town was. It was a big town with a town hall and all those things. And I will add picture into the video for you to look at right about now all right so yeah pretty cool old images very hard to find there's nothing here left of the town we've got a 10 minute hike up very rough steep terrain of the old road there is a road here that you can only get by bicycle and it has huts a two to four day expedition at huts and it's called old ghost road you get to check out all basically ruins that are still there of the old gold mining and it does look pretty cool i'm not too keen not too sure if at the moment i'm keen on a two to four day bike ride to check it out it could be something for a future explore anyway I'll show you this terrain we're walking up and we'll see you at the cemetery in just a moment. Wow, look at that drop off all the way down there to the river. That is just crazy, crazy down there. Let's have a wee look. That rock still hasn't even made it to the bottom. Still not there, still not there. Wow. Can't even see if it made it a long way down all right so just around the corner here after this beautiful waterfall and we are at the peaceful lyle cemetery in the old town ruins of lyle wow i'm not sure if that was a man-made one for the gold mining they did here or not We're just basically here, and then we're going to enter the grounds. And it's the only thing left of Lyle now. There's nothing left. No town hall, no buildings, nothing. It's gone. It can't even be called a ghost town. So here we are. 1870 through to 1900. Lyle 
cemetery. And man, this is surreal. We've just hiked into the middle of the bush, up this rugged terrain, high up above the Buller River, to get to this place that was a town. And this is just surreal. It is peaceful here. There's no energy here in the way that you would feel with paranormal. There's nothing here. It's just extremely peaceful. Eighteen ninety three on this one. Wow. Well, wow. not too many left here with intact headstones. Eighteen ninety-three, aged, I, uh, sorry, died aged fifty-two. Hmm. Well. Wow. It's amazing that that is in such good condition, that headstone. For how old it is. 129 years old. Wow. Even this one is in such amazing condition. To be, it looks to be made of marble or slate or something along those lines. So it's just... This is just so cool. It does appear a little smaller than what I assumed it would be. You know, actually, it does go up the hillside more. I'm just not looking properly. Another one here. Another one over here. A few down here. And another one. Now let's see who's king of the hill. And it's not that type of king of the hill, I know what you're probably thinking. Not the one that's out of the pearl pain. It ain't that one. The headstone's growing a lot. It's very tall. That tree has grown that tall in that amount of time. It wouldn't have put it here around a tree. I mean, I can't see the top of that tree at all and that's growing out of where the headstone would have been that just goes to show you the age of the cemetery I'd have to say this is the oldest I've been to a lot of older ones lately but this has got to be the oldest one I've been to this far for sure let's have a look at these ones down here and then we'll see if there's any other cool stuff to see on our way back back home and if there is you'll see more and if not we'll make an outro for the video and we'll see you on the next week's video we'll just look at these last two three down here make sure we give you guys all a good look see if we can read any names on them Look at the years, look at the details, see if we can find any in the history. 1891, Timothy Davis. We've got William Morris over here. Died in 1885. The 19th of February, age 45. And there's no more headstones to read. And that's pretty much all the readable headstones. We've looked at all of them now. That is really cool. Well, explorers, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Two Different Things. The uh, Militant Incline, which was a part two from our last week's Explore, which was abandoned mining town in New Zealand. And uh, it was so big that we had to make a part two of it. And then what we fit into part two, thought we'd add on a few things on the way, like this place here, Lyle Cemetery. So if you did, 
like this video and this cool adventure of us checking stuff out around the South Island, then please do remember, please do like and subscribe to the channel. And please remember to push the bell notification button. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And it will just basically keep you updated on upcoming videos and explore so you don't miss out on any. It will give you direct notifications to your phone or PC or tablet or whatever you might use. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty much we're gonna head off from here, look at some stuff on the way back. We've got about just over an hour trip to get back to where we're going to this evening. And it's beautiful, weather's shining, it's sunny, it's a lovely day. And yeah, we will catch you guys on the next Explore. And that's all for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. The Forsaken Explorer, over and out.
Thank you.